Hey, what's up everybody? Old School NYC Gamer back once again with another video here for the iPhone. Uh, saw this game a few weeks ago, wanted to check it out. Uh, I'm going to be giving you some first impressions, gameplay, and my thoughts on this game as well. So let's check it out, boys and girls. Let me just start the game up here, or start up the phone. And what you see over here is Marvel Kapow. Now, I believe this was developed by Smith & Tinker, and the update for this came out last month. So I do believe this came out, uh, I believe the summer or fall of last year, if I'm not mistaken. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's check the game out. Let me just start it up here. You can see right there, this is by Marvel. <clears throat> Excuse me, yep, that is Smith & Tinker Incorporated. This came out in 2011, people, so... Of course, you're greeted with this screen here, and this is definitely like, you know, comic book based kind of a game, but with a little bit of a twist. So we will start this up, Dr. Doom's cyber attack. Dr. Doom plots to take control of the internet. <laughs> I think he's a little late with that one, thanks to our United States government, but we won't get into that. Anyway, with an onslaught of evil cyber bots, as you can see right there, basically, that would be, uh... That would be Venom, Red Skull, Magneto, and Loki. And of course, that's what it's basically based off of. Meanwhile, at Stark Tower, Tony has created a new defense platform. Taking the planet's greatest superheroes, as you can see right there with Spider-Man, Captain America, Wolverine, and Thor. Putting Marvel superpowers at, at your fingertips and joining the fight. So, of course, there you go, right there. So, you do have a couple of options here uh, if you want to play. Of course, this is through the Game Center with your high score. you got your options. It's uh, very simplistic. You know, you either do the flip screen, your sound effects on and off with your music. But we'll go back into the main menu. And when you play, you got your normal mode and your arcade mode. Now, the arcade mode is a little more like uh, you have... You have uh, I believe six matches, you got to go back to back to back, but since, you know, we are pressed for time here, I'm going to show the normal mode just to show you a little bit of the gameplay here. And of course, I got up to level four, but I'm basically going to show you how the game works. Now with level one, this being Captain America, and then of course you got Iron Man. Uh, I can't see right there, I forgot who that is, I believe that is Iron Man as well. And Wolverine, but let's start off with Captain America. Now you can be facing off against the Red Skull in the in uh, level one. So as you see right there, basically all those shots that you see right there, you're going to be deflecting off them. So as we see right there. Just deflect the shots off. So it's kind of like Missile Command in a way when you see this. And of course, you do got to pay attention. It's not exactly the easiest thing you could do here. Okay, the are basically come out of nowhere, so you gotta be careful. You don't want the screen to crack entirely, because that means it's game over. And that is level one right there, ladies and gentlemen. But I actually want to show you, we'll skip over, because uh, we're not going to go into the game center here. I'll just skip that. Let's go back into the main menu. 
Let me show you uh, Wolverine. Now, of course, like I said, with the levels, once you uh, get farther into the levels, you'll see how much more you can do here. So, as I said, with Captain America, you could just block shots, but with Wolverine, you basically could just use your claws and just basically, you know, take out Magneto's robots in level four. So we'll start that up. See, there you go. It's very simplistic. There, right there, people. You see right there, just take them out. So as soon as you see him, basically you just gotta go because he's gonna use those powers and try to uh, crack your screen. Yeah, they will come out of nowhere, so you really got to pay attention, people. Yeah, and that's it. Basically, just died. That's how quick it could happen, people. But yeah, so I wanted to show you that really quick. It's a really awesome game. Uh, I believe it's $1.99. And you could get it at the App Store. So I definitely do recommend this game if you're definitely into, like, you know, a quick game at work or, you know, on your way in the car, you're a little bored. Um, definitely check this game out. I highly recommend it. It's a very awesome game here for the iPhone. And I believe it's on the iPad, too, at this rate. So, yeah. I hope you guys and gals enjoy the video. Uh, the controls. Actually, I, do, I did forget to mention, you know, as the controls, controls are very responsive. Hit detection is very good. Um, you know, for a touchscreen game, it's definitely one that uh, Spin and Tinker Incorporated definitely did this really good with. I do applaud them for that effort. And yeah, I mean, it's a cool game. That's my first impressions of it. I definitely highly recommend this game to anybody who's, you know, really into the iPhone a lot and wouldn't mind, you know, trying this game out for a buck ninety nine. Hey, you can't beat it. And that's about it, people. So, like I said, hope you guys and gals enjoy the video. Feel free to leave a comment, and that's about it. Have a great day, everybody, and take care. Cheers.